Hi, I'm Randy Johnson, President of US LAMP, and I'd like to welcome you to our next session of Tech Talk. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about lighting with LED applications for high ceiling areas like atriums and insurance companies, hospital entrances, and school auditoriums. Those typically are where we find the most opportunity for our high application lighting. Um, there's several opportunities and applications that you can use. We'll start by talking about new fixtures. New fixtures for those areas are typically dictated primarily by new construction or major renovation issues. If you're completely gutting the ceiling, that's where new fixtures certainly make the most sense. They're the most expensive first cost, but they also will provide you probably with the best long-term solution and give you the look that you want because you can pick the style of fixture to fit your decor. Uh, the second opportunity would be to use retrofit bulbs, and I've got a few of these here. Um, for lower ceiling height applications, entrances to auditoriums, and things, things of that nature, we use these small recessed can trims that are LED, work very well and fit into the existing housing. If you're into medium applications or higher ceiling heights, up to about 30 to 35 feet, we very successfully use these types of retrofit bulbs. They're available from a variety of manufacturers, and we've been replacing with this 17 watt PAR 38 anywhere from 250 to 500 watt incandescent lamps. They also are dimmable, but there's some issues with that that I will speak about. The third area is really theatrical applications for schools. Uh, this fixture that I'm gonna plug in is a theatrical lighting fixture from Martin Lighting, which is a European company. And I'm going to put this in the test mode so I can show you what this will do. But this particular fixture is typically used where a PAR flood would be used on typical stage and studio applications. And it's pretty compact. That probably weighs about 20 pounds. And I will put it into a test mode because this fixture gives you the ability to provide any color of light as well as to be able to dim that lighting fixture and you can also zoom from 12 degree spot out to about a 60 degree flood. So we'll put this in that test mode and we'll give you a flavor of what this fixture can do. So it's kind of going through a test of colors showing you the spot to zoom function and then by providing various amounts of energy to each of the primary LED colors, red, blue, and green, they can blend these to get any visual color that you're looking for. So very nice and it's becoming a very strong part of the lighting industry. Um, I put this on a watt meter and it actually measures with the motor draw about 150 watts. The lighting itself is about 50 watts. So very low energy. You can put a lot of these on circuits. They work quite well. The last issue is dimming controls. Most LED products are very dimming capable, but you have to make sure they're compatible with the dimming equipment. So we always recommend contacting the dimming supply company that provides the dimming equipment as well as the manufacturer of the equipment for the lighting, which is either the bulbs or the lighting fixtures. So with that in mind, we thank you for joining us today. If you'd like any other information, you can contact us at the website that's listed on the bottom of the screen. Until then, we look forward to speaking to you again in the future. Thank you.